Okay, sorry for the mess, but for everybody who's having problems out there with uh, the endpoint on their H bridge and everything, and another thing, um, <clears throat> you don't have to have power to uh, to these wires right here. Just these three have to be connected, which is just like that. So the first one. VCC and ground You need to leave the the ground completely disconnected and then that needs to hook into Three and four and VCC those three need to be connected to one See how I have uh, two reds and a black But see this servo I keep all the the gears in mind unless I'm doing you know something that needs uh, complete drive in either direction. Let's see if I can't shut up the stereo; it's bugging me. But here I go. See how it's got the end points there, and that motor's not moving because it's not plugged in. Now we'll plug it in. See, so no, oh, I hit the the thing. To the end point and then back to the other end point. And then it goes. And on my Let's see if I can't get this to now. Maybe you might be able to see both. No. Came disconnected. Came disconnected. The little plugs are a little bit messed up. Okay, you see that? Now watch the servo go back. I'll see if I can't get them both in the shot. And you can see that servo move. All right, now I put black tape on the servo and on that. Okay, you see the servo move? But that's not moving, that's because of this plug right here. It's messed up, you can see it's messed up right there. But we'll try to get it on there. Uh. And then it'll go clear to its end point. Once it gets there, that stops. And now it'll go back. We get the idea. It's just because my plug is messed up. But you don't need the uh, the 7.2 volts or 7.4 7 LiPo volts right there or anything like that. You can run it just like this. But I mean, it would be the same thing with a uh, the servo motor, and then when you have the uh, the servo horn hooked up to here and onto your uh, huge uh, giant servo, then this right here is now the end point, right in there. See how it stops, and then it goes right back and stops. Back the other way, and then it stops. But since mine is messed up, I have to replace that. But as you can see, I leave all the gears inside. That helps. It's kind of like auto home. And then that way, your uh, is that right there will stop the potentiometer and stop this at the same time, so you won't have it go all the way over and all the way back. I've had that happen several times every time I took the gears out. So I leave the gears in it, and the only thing that I do to these servos is I take these out, take out the screws, and then I solder two wires. Here's one. That's the only modification that I do for my steering, giant steering servos. This right here I had for, uh, for one, for a motor that I just needed to keep going and going. So if I were to take that, 
and that this motor right here might just start going all haywire because I don't know where the potentiometer on that is set but okay so far so good But that, that's what I needed it to do, is to keep going like that. But that's why I don't put gears in if I'm running a motor that I need to go backward and forward as long as I'm holding on to the trigger. Yeah, I know my, my bench is a mess. I've been wrapped up in so many projects. But I hope this helps you. And anybody else who watches this video, I hope I hope it does help you. Is it this is actually a pretty cool thing. I blew up this H bridge. Don't do the idiotic thing that I did and go and put the uh, the uh, negative and the positive and the positive and the negative. I blew this H bridge up because I was in a hurry. I just needed to slow down. So you need. I'll try to do it side by side here. So pins seven and eight, so black and then positive. Your seven is going to be positive, and then in three and four need to be hooked together with seven. And do not hook up eight to anything, just leave it like that. And she should work. 